This is why China will take over Malaysia forever. With its $66 billion Port Mega project, China has overtaken Malaysia. This project, a partnership between China and Malaysia, proposes to develop a deep sea port and industrial park in Malaysia's Port Klang region. In this video, we'll talk about the Malacca Gateway project, which is anticipated to be one of Southeast Asia's major infrastructural initiatives. The Strait of Malacca, one of the busiest maritime routes in the world, is where the port city of Klang is strategically situated. An important means of transportation for international trade is maritime shipping. On the other hand, as Asia has grown, more and more products are being imported and exported. As a result, there will be a rise in global trade, and Asia's ports and shipping lanes will become increasingly important. The Strait of Malacca is the most important one. All imports and exports from Asia must pass through it. The Strait of Malacca is used by one-fourth of all global maritime traffic. And the project is anticipated to have an important impact on regional connectivity and economic growth. The China-Malaysia Port Klang Industrial Park project is a component of China's Belt and Road Initiative, a significant program for the building of infrastructure with the goal of enhancing economic connectivity throughout Asia, Europe, and Africa. Significant investments in infrastructure projects across the region, including ports, railroads, roadways, and energy projects, have already been made as a part of the Belt and Road Program. Therefore, what is the China-Malaysia Port Klang Industrial Park project, and what are its goals? Let's examine it more closely. The project's primary goal is to build a deep seaport in Malaysia's Port Klang area. This port will be able to handle the largest container ships in the world and have a capacity of up to 30 million 20-foot equivalent units, TUs, annually. By doing this, the Port Klang area's capacity will be greatly increased, enabling more trade and investment to pass through the area. Second, the project seeks to build an industrial park with a variety of amenities and services to promote the development of businesses in the area. A total of 1,500 hectares will be occupied by the industrial park, which will house manufacturing plants, logistics hubs, and other infrastructure. Economic development and communications in the area are going to be greatly influenced by the project. Both Malaysia and China will experience economic growth and job creation as a result, and the region's logistics and transportation systems will also be improved. Additionally, the project will improve Southeast Asia and China's connectivity, facilitating increased trade and investment between the two countries. The initiative, however, has not been without its difficulties and critics. Its potential effects on the environment have been one of the key worries. The Strait of Malacca's heavy maritime traffic which has the potential to pollute the ocean and destroy habitat, is already putting pressure on the port's playing field. The development of the deep-sea port in the industrial park may make these environmental issues worse. The project's financial feasibility has also been a source of worry. The $66 billion price tag is enormous, and several experts have questioned whether the project's intended use will yield sufficient financial rewards to warrant the expenditure. There are worries that the project could lead to Malaysia falling into a debt trap, considering the amount of debt that the nation already carries. Despite these obstacles, the project is progressing, and China and Malaysia are committed to seeing it through to completion. However, why did such a costly project need to be made? Let's investigate it. On numerous infrastructure projects, China and Malaysia frequently collaborate. The Malacca Gateway project is one of the most interesting construction endeavors. It is a part of China's Belt and Road Initiative, BRI, which aims to strengthen regional ties and increase trade between China and other nations. Along with that, it aims to increase financial ties between China and other nations in Asia, Africa, Europe, and beyond. The Malacca Gateway project is a multi-billion dollar initiative that aims to transform the region by establishing a deep seaport, logistic hub, and hub for oceanic trade. Quite intriguing, huh? Let's look forward to learning more about the incredible Mega Vertex. 
The massive project is situated on a 264-hectare location and is anticipated to include a deep water port, residential neighborhoods, and residential parks. The project is situated in the state of Malacca, Malaysia. The location of Malacca, which is on the Malacca Strait, appears to be a source of wealth for developers. One of the most captivating maritime ports in the entire globe. But what benefits and drawbacks will it bring to Malaysia? Look at it, shall we? The regional economy as a whole and the local financial system will be significantly impacted by the Malacca Gateway project. By completing this project, significant profits will rise. Once the project is finished, it is anticipated that the Malacca Gateway initiative will boost Malaysia's economic development and open up new employment opportunities, particularly in the manufacturing and aquaculture sectors. Through this initiative, the area will receive fresh, deep seafood, transportation, and just a submarine. The project is expected to boost Malaysia's transportation infrastructure and its commitment to the aquatic region. It will open up new business opportunities for local firms, have a great impact on the nation's logistical capabilities, and make it simpler and more advantageous for companies to export and import goods outside of the country, which will further promote trade and investment between Malaysia and other nations in the region. There are some concerns with the project's impact on the environment. There are numerous issues with the project's potential impact on marine life and the environment because it is located in a vulnerable offshore location. Aside from this, there are other worries on how the projects may affect indigenous people, particularly those who depend on fishing for their way of life. Not least, it should be ensured that the project will be executed in a responsible and defendable manner, as thousands of workers are anticipated to be employed throughout the building of the complex. With some specialists reading about the project's ongoing consequences on the environment and potential dead load on the recipient countries, this study demonstrates that BRI is the main focus of discussion and disagreement today. The launch of the initiative, according to BRI's backers, will raise financial benefits, clearing the way for new marketing and training routes. They also assert that this initiative will provide prosperity to China and its partner nations, as well as increased financial gains and other financial advantages. Even while the BRI is more than just a target of criticism, the Malaysian Gateway Project grabs our attention due to the potential benefits of infrastructure and transportation development, economic advantages, regional connectivity, and international cooperation, among other things. The project's success or failure will have a big impact on how the region's infrastructure and economic connectivity grow in the future, which is estimated to take several years to complete. We should certainly delve a little more into some of the specifics of the China-Malaysia Port Klang Industrial Park project. Together with Malaysia's Kumpalan Parasang Selangor Barad, the project is a joint venture between China Communications Construction Company, or CCCC, and KPSB. CCCC is one of China's leading engineering and construction firms, and KPSB is a state-owned conglomerate with holdings in a number of industries, including utilities and real estate. The first phase of the project, which is slated to be finished in 2021, is expected to take about 15 years to complete. Three container terminals, a brake bulk terminal, and a liquid terminal are built in the project's initial phase. The creation of an industrial park and the building of additional infrastructure, including as roads and railroads, will be the focus of the project's second and third phases. With a capacity of up to 30 million twos annually, the deep sea port in the Port Klang area is anticipated to be among the biggest ports in the world. Consequently, it will become a significant regional hub for trade and commerce, acting as a gateway for products entering and leaving the Asia-Pacific area. As part of the proposal, an industrial park with a total area of about 1,500 hectares will be developed in addition to the deep sea port. A variety of facilities and services, including manufacturing facilities, logistics hubs, and facilities for research and development will be made available by the industrial park to assist the expansion of the industries in the area. 
the objective is to develop a group of industrial series that can benefit from the project's upgraded logistics and transportation network. The China-Malaysia Port Klang Industrial Park project is anticipated to have a substantial influence on connectivity and regional economic growth. In addition to boosting the economies of China and Malaysia, the project will also boost the region's transportation and logistics infrastructure. Additionally, the project will improve connectivity between China and Southeast Asia, facilitating increased trade and investment flows between the two countries. But as we already said, there are worries about the project's effects on the environment. The huge volume of maritime traffic that passes through the Strait of Malacca, which has the potential to cause marine pollution and habitat loss, puts the Port Klang area under additional stress. Creating an industrial park with deep sea port possibly making these environmental issues worse. These worries have been addressed, and both China and Malaysia have vowed to do something to lessen the project's negative effects on the environment. The project's potential to make money is another issue that raises questions. Given the enormous cost of the project, $66 billion, some experts have questioned whether the investment will yield sufficient economic returns. On account of Malaysia's high level of debt, some detractors have claimed that the project would turn it into a debt trap for the nation. But China and Malaysia have also voiced confidence in the project's economic sustainability and highlighted its potential to generate jobs and promote regional economic growth. The main contractor for the project is China Communications Construction Company, or CCCC. One of the biggest engineering and construction firms in China is CCCC a state-owned corporation. It has a wealth of experience building ports and other big infrastructure projects, including the construction of the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge, the largest sea-crossing bridge in the world. The project, which is anticipated to cost roughly $66 billion, is under the design, construction, and financial control of the CCCC. The Malaysian government, which gave regulatory approval for the project and promised to promote its growth, is also a significant actor in the project. The government has made a commitment to enhancing the nation's infrastructure and connectivity as part of its overall development plan, and the project is regarded as a crucial component of Malaysia's economic growth strategy. As part of its Belt and Road program, China is investing extensively in infrastructure development projects all over the world. These worries have been addressed, and both China and Malaysia have promised to do anything to reduce the project's negative environmental effects. When construction on the Malacca port is complete, it will significantly boost the local economy and provide about 50,000 new jobs. The One Belt, One Road initiative of China is also compatible with it. It can promote trade between China and Malaysia and become the focal point of China's construction of the Maritime Silk Road. Not just China benefits from this, all of Asia does as well. But building a port alone is insufficient. It must be capable of being transported. In order to help Malaysia improve its domestic rail infrastructure and promote economic progress, China also proposes to build a railway for Malaysia. The building of Malaysia's railways will now get an additional $13 billion from China. This railway will provide direct connections between the commercial hubs of Malaysia's east and west coasts. The project is scheduled to be completed in 2024. By continuing on its current course, the Malacca project can get around the Strait of Malacca. The goods will be shipped to Asia after being unloaded from the ship at the port in Malacca and transported there by train from Malaysia's east coast in order to navigate the Strait of Malacca, which can be closed at any time, there is no other method that is more advantageous than this one. That's all. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to like and subscribe to our channel, and ring the bell icon to get more videos.